Keep it simple, stupid. Don't you really love to hear that? K-I-S-S. To me, that often leads to L-O-V-E. Leave out virtually everything so that you're not allowed to be creative or to add something to the band's music because you're the lowly, lowly drummer, the lowly timekeeper. Seems to me what we should be looking for is M-U-S-I-C. Make up something interesting and complimentary. Serve the song, serve the music, but by all means try to be creative and imaginative in how you affect it. Simplicity can be beautiful, complexity can be beautiful, and equally, both can also be not beautiful. Uh, in the hands of a master, simplicity can be a gorgeous thing. If you think of drummers like Steve Gadd or Bernard Purdy, when they play something simply, it's with the conviction, the confidence, the knowledge and ability of a master, and consequently, it uh, communicates itself in quite a different way from somebody who's playing something simple because it's all they know. And those people equally will be likely to say that, hey man, less is more. But really, less is only and always less. What we like to say in the band, that less costs more. In other words, if you're going to do something simple and be minimalistic about it, then it better be exceptionally great. And this is true, I think, throughout the arts. If you think of Picasso, for instance, as a, as a wonderful painter, but also as a wonderful drawer. And he could do a few lines in a gestural line drawing that would capture the essence of beauty. And that's the essence of what simplicity can be. But at the same time, something more complex, something more overwrought, more involved, more imagination, more ideas. What's wrong with that? My take on all of this is that the apprentice takes something easy and makes it look difficult, while the master takes the impossible and makes it look easy.